Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to find thin content on your website and how you can easily uh, fix that issue by writing more content using Closer's Copy, uh, which is a premium tool. So what thin content is, is just a small amount of content that lives on a page. And what happens is Google reads that and uh, they just see it as kind of lazy. You know, there's just not a lot of content on there. Uh, you just threw a few words on there and probably isn't going to, um, you know, solve many search intent um, searches, right? So it's not going to solve the search intent in most cases. So you want to have at least 500 words. Uh, at least that's kind of the, the benchmark that I go by. Now, to find uh, thin content on your website, there's a couple of different tools that I use. Uh, the first one is SiteLiner. This is a free tool. Um, all you have to do is put in your uh, your URL. So HTTPS. We're going to use the uh, Rank and Rent site that we made. MetalRoofingDenverCo.com. Uh, it'll do a search of I believe the I believe 250 word or pages and that's it. So if you have more than that, you're going to need to use one of the other tools uh, that I'm going to recommend. So you're going to, it's going to populate this page, the summary page. Uh, you're going to want to go to your pages and then you're going to want to sort by word count. So you can see anything below 500 words is something that we're going to work, want to work on. Um, I know the blog page and I know the, um, this tag page have been uh, not indexed. So the only real one that we have to work on is about us. And you can see there's, it says 266 words. Uh, I find that that's not always accurate. So uh, just take that with a grain of salt. So that's one way to find your thin content. And then another way is to use Screaming Frog, which is another free tool. I believe you get 500 uh, URL or not URL, but website crawls, uh, so individual websites. So you're just gonna do, you're just gonna put in your URL, similar to how we did with SiteLiner. You're gonna click start, and then it's gonna populate a ton of different information. So these are all of our uh, URLs, and you're gonna wanna scroll right until you find word count. So let's see. Title, word count. So anything below 500 words, again, uh, you're gonna wanna work on. So this one has 259, that's the, um, that's the cutoff point right there. And pretty sure this is the About Us page. So About Us. Now I'm gonna look, make sure it's indexable. If it's not indexable, I'm not gonna really worry about adding more content to it. Um, and I know these other ones are also non-indexable. So it says indexable, but I think this is uh, it's a little outdated for some reason. I think just the changes haven't been made yet. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, so we have our about us and that's the one we're going to work on. So the next thing I do is I just go and reconfirm um, the information that these tools gave us. So I'm just going to highlight all the text and I'm either going to Use this little plugin. I forget what it's called. I think it's just Word Counter Chrome plugin. Uh, and you'll see it says 88 words, which is a lot less than what um, the tools are telling us. So uh, I think it's reading some of these other words on here. So 151 words. Yeah, so, so there, there's a discrepancy for sure. Um, another way you can do this if you don't have that plugin is you can just copy and paste the content into wordcounter.net. Paste, 88 words. So uh, we have some work to do, right? So the tool that I'm using is Closures Copy, and I use this for uh, a ton of different like use cases. So I use it for duplicate content. I use it for writing blogs, um, just you know, expanding on uh, what I've already written if I've hit a roadblock. There is a link to this tool in the description. 
Uh, this is a lifetime tool, so you pay once and you can use this forever. Um, I'm not sure what the price is right now, but I mean, just think about it if you use this, um, you know, for blog posts. Blog posts cost a pretty good amount to write, so uh, if you can use this for it, you're going to be getting your money's worth. So what I do is I'm going to paste this in here. This is their content that we just took from the website. I'm actually not going to put it in here. I'm going to do the long form. I'm going to delete everything in there. This is your content brief. So this is what you're telling the AI to write. And then I'm going to adjust my settings here. So creativity, um, just basically how much how much leash you want to give the AI to be to kind of get off uh, topic or um, you know stuff like that. Like how strict do you want to be to sticking to your content brief, um, your output. That's how much content it's going to output. Basically, um, the more the higher this number is, the more likely it's going to go off topic, and you might have to do more editing. Uh, if you keep it shorter, I mean, obviously you're not, not going to have that much, but it might be uh, a little bit more in line with your content brief. I'm going to do in between. I'm going to do like 50. And then context, this is, um, it will read what's already on the page and it'll use that for context to write the next section. So it'll, it'll be reading what is on the page um, to continue writing instead of just starting from blank, you know. So we're going to press write and let's see what we get. And by the way, if you want to see a uh, blog post that I wrote using this tool, go to metalroofingdenver.com or metalroofingdenverco.com, go to the blog, and I believe I wrote how long do yeah how long does a metal roof uh, last in Colorado? This is completely written by AI. I did a little bit of editing, but yeah, this is the majority of it was written by AI. So, okay, so you can see here that it's not perfect, right? So, we have some jumbledy gook here. So, so, it's talking about a warehouse, but we don't have a warehouse. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and read this. Our sales team will walk you through the process of choosing a roof type, size, and style. Our metal, our metal roofing experts can help guide you in choosing a new metal roof. We have the best sales professionals in the Denver area. Our roofing experts will give you a free estimate and show you all the options. You can schedule your appointment to meet our roofing experts any, at any time. Call us today. Read an article about this content brief. So, obviously, there's some work to be done. But, if you see... And the amount of time that I just did that, uh, we now have, it'll give you a word count here, 156 words. So I'm just going to show you another option, which is the expand tool. So uh, we serve the greater Denver metro area with numerous happy customers and a five star Google rating. We are the best choice for your roofing project. Excuse my terrible grammar here. Denver. Five star. Okay. So we can use long form again. And then another option is to do instruct, which I'm going to show you after this. So let's just give it a second here. Instruct is using 
uh, closures copies, um, like proprietary AI. So conversion AI, shortly.ai, um, most of the other ones are using GPT-3. So the results are going to be very comparable. There's not going to be much differentiation between the two or between the options. It'll be more about the options of um, the templates, the long form options, uh, that sort of thing, whereas the content's going to be pretty much the same. So let's see what uh, they came up with here. So we serve the greater Denver area. Uh, okay, so that's what I wrote. We are the best choice for your roofing project. I'll let me in touch shortly with your needs. Thank you. Cancel. I have no idea what this is. Okay, so that didn't work. So let's use instruct. So you can right click, you can do instruct. And this will give you like a good amount of content. And the good thing about it is, is that it's not gonna create a bunch of content. So that means it's not gonna get too off track most of the time. Okay, so call us today. Our company has been providing excellent service to homeowners across the country since our beginning. Our roofing services are affordable and professional. We understand that hiring a contractor may be difficult, stressful, especially if you don't have much experience or resources. So that's pretty good. I want to see what happens if I highlight everything and basically just take this all as um, context. Uh, so basically I want to read everything and then just continue writing. So let's see what it comes with. And you can see we're already at 226 words and we started with 88. Uh, and I do want to let you know that I'm going to be creating my own templates to be used uh, with this. And what a template is, is that you can, it's just like plug and play. So you'll be able to uh, just walk through how to, you know, like if we have, you can have a service page, you can have uh, an about us with headings and all that, and it'll write, you know, the majority of the content. So let's see what it came up with. Uh, we provide a free written estimate on all projects. We also do independent inspection of the property before we commence any work. That way, when we're done, blah, blah. So that's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. I would put that on, on my website. So seems seems like we don't need this or this paragraph anymore because now we have this. Um, and then I'm just gonna have to go through and add my company name. But yeah, that's pretty much how you use the tool. Um, you can see in the amount, like this short video that we've created, uh, a bunch of content and I think I typed out maybe 30 words in total uh, and we got out five, almost 500, 400 words. So I'm going to add a little bit more to this, but uh, yeah, you can check this content out on the website. It will be on the about us page. And if you want to check out the blog written by AI, you can check out the blog section of metal roofing Denver. Okay. If you have any questions, let me know if you want me to uh, do some more tutorial videos on closers copy, let me know and let me know if you're interested in learning more about the long form and the templates. Uh, I might make those public, shareable for you guys. Uh, but again, I just don't wanna, I don't wanna waste my time uh, if nobody's interested. So just let me know in the comment section. All right, thanks, talk to you later.